Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today's video, um, looking at reusable checklist software on the web UI. I did a video just a few hours ago uh, regarding an app I found for Android. It's a real pity that this seems to be a very underserved part of the market. As I said, I think checklists are uh, super useful um, for whether in your personal life, if you're like me, tend to be uh, forgetful or in your business life. What I used to use this particular app for, Firesub, was recurrent processes um, at the end of the month. I usually do my invoicing on the 30th or the 31st and I was able to create for myself a, a checklist because you might send out 10 invoices and each checklist had to have, um, you had to cross check that a certain thing was correct, the company's name was right, if there was a VAT, VAT ID it was listed, everything was itemized and just having a recurrent checklist um, I, I mentioned in my Android video, the inspiration I've drawn for these is from the world of aviation where checklists are ubiquitous, um, but there's no reason that they should be limited to that context. And if you're doing anything that's kind of a bit mind numbing, that's when these things really come into their own. So let me go, let me show you um, how Firesub works. I just signed up for a free demo account. It's not super advanced software as you can see, it's pretty bare boned in fact. It doesn't have a um, it doesn't have a mobile app. So the mobile app I found doesn't have a web client, and the um, and the web client doesn't have a mobile app. So I've yet to find exactly what I'm looking for, but both come uh, somewhat close enough. So um, this is a blank account I've created for myself, and I'll show you how this works. Add your first checklist templates, and it's designed to be kind of used in a team environment. So you know you might create checklists for your um, accounting department, just like the use case for billing I mentioned, and then share these around, right? So I can add a template, let's say I wanted to do, say set a template, I'll call this end of month invoices, and then just a list of things that I wanted to make sure I got around to. Uh, check due date is net 30, um, check uh, currency is, uh, check billing currency yep, is correct. You know, this is the idea. And it's a responsive um, app. So again, this definitely can be used from the phone. You can see as I've zoomed in, it's taken up the whole screen, which is handy. Uh, what else would I, do I check my invoices? Check client name accurate. You get the idea, just kind of things that you wanna make sure. Um, check that itemized if applicable. Uh, denotes any outstanding standing invoices, um, etc. Validate link to payments and uh, include PayPal or Pioneer link if applicable, right? So let's say that's my billing checklist and these are the things I want to uh, run through for every single end of, end of month's invoice. So that's pretty much good. I'm gonna click on add template now and I think we should have our uh, template in here. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So now when I click into my team, and I've created a second one for some reason. I can click into end of month's invoices and now I can run through my checklists. I can say, let's say I'm going through uh, one of my invoices. I can say, yep, we have, uh, we have the net 30. So I need to then start the checklist like this. Net 30 is good, the billing currency is correct. Flight name's good, VAT's been itemized. Denote any outstanding invoices. Yup, we checked that, there's nothing. We checked the payment link, because sometimes that's buggy. Yep, it works. And um, if the client can can or does like to pay by PayPal or Payneer, we have that too. And now we can click on uh, completed, right? So that's basically what the software does. It's I've run through that checklist. And then all you need to do is click uh, on complete, and then you can untick these items. So if I want to reuse it, let's say, I go back into my team name here. End of month's invoices, checklists. And I can then click again on start the checklist. Uh, start the checklist. And we'll wipe out our progress and now we're back to running through the checklist. And you can store as many uh, checklists as you can on the free tier of this and then there's a premium as well. So yeah, I think this is this is called Firesub. Um, I wish there was more software like it or or there was uh, software that was a little bit more um, advanced and intuitive than this. Uh, if you do know of such a product, uh, please let me know because I've been on the look, look out for it for years. 
definitely there is an abundance of task management and calendar software on the market but for these reusable checklists uh, specific software is, uh, seems to be a bit of a less of a selection out there especially if you know of anything that syncs that has a mobile app for android and the cloud that's uh, exactly the product i've been looking for for a couple of years now anyway this is fire sub re reusable checklist software uh, for uh, accessible through a web user interface hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching